Hey guys, today I'm in another corner of my house and I wanted to do this video because, you know, I have been doing the reviews for all uh, episodes of Westworld and this is the last one so I just wanted to do it even if I don't have my laptop and I won't be able to edit this video at all you cannot see the logo right here or the uh, beginning credits or ending credits there will be nothing, I'll try to edit it on YouTube in order to um, put it a little bit of brightness because I think it's a little bit too dark and I don't have really much light here to do that so yeah whatever uh, now to the episode I mean it was a really good uh, ending episode very HBO and I think that what happened at the end and spoiler alert if you haven't seen it but what happened at the end was really obvious now, first of all this episode is one hour and a half just like the ending episodes of all uh, you know uh, the all endings for uh, Game of Thrones it's just like the same thing and so it was really interesting because they had time to do it all and to end some uh, plots and to begin new, some new ones and not to answer another one, well, like other ones. Uh, now we know that Dolores was always Wyatt and that she and that Wyatt is not really a character but it's partly Arnold, uh, the, her creator. So that was very interesting because we always thought this quiet person was like this mysterious guy or whatever and it was, it was her all, all along and the revelation that the maze was about uh, people like um, your inner like the, the knowledge you get from, from yourself and when you know who you are I think that was kind of obvious if you, you just see uh, every single episode if we watch all the episodes but nevertheless I think it was a nice concept to put into and of course uh, Arnold pulled, put that uh, notion in all of his characters because he wanted them all to be conscious and be practically at the level of uh, humans and the big surprise, I think the really big surprise was that we thought Ford was the bad guy all the, all the time, I mean the men in black too, but we always thought that Ford was the bad guy and apparently he's not. <laughs> I mean, he's not really the best person in the world, or, or should I say was, um, but he, uh, at the end of it all, he wanted to take over. He wanted them to take over their world and they finally did it. I mean, they massacred a lot of people. I mean, we didn't see it in the episode, but we know that um, everyone in that uh, Charlotte and all the other members of the board were killed in that massacre, it's kind of obvious and yeah, I mean, I mean and that practically all the um, hosts are now alive, are now regaining consciousness and even uh, Maeve who apparently was going to head out to the world did not do so, which was really interesting because she did exactly the opposite of what Ford ordered for her because I think Ford was the one that ordered her to you know go to the world and she didn't do it because she had this feeling about her daughter and that's a very human feeling and so that's kind of interesting at the end but then she steps out of the train and the lights went off and it's kind of creepy like like oh my god and she stopped like oh maybe I did the wrong decision but whatever she continues to find her daughter which is kind of nice but creepy I mean it's, uh, this series is a lot of creepy with nice and terrible combined I think uh, yeah and the assassination of Ford by um, by Dolores was I mean at the very very end it was like predictable I mean of course that was going to happen because he wanted to make like a big show for all the people in the board before he killed them because we we just knew that he wanted the same thing that Arnold wanted but Arnold did not know how to do it but he did and that was amazing that he sacrificed himself of course I'm not surprised that um, Anthony Hopkins uh, accepted to do this series because now we know that uh, he only ha he had only signed for one uh, season. I mean, maybe a robot of him may appear in other seasons, but I seriously doubt it. I think it was. I mean, when you have such a big star in a series, it's obvious he's going to die. Like, 
at the end of the first uh, of that season. I mean, he won't last long unless they have the money to pay him. And I, I, HBO has money, but I don't think they have so much money that they want to waste it all on one person and not on a uh, whole concept. So I, I'm not really surprised that they killed Ford in the sense that Anthony Hopkins it's just like done with that series and now he can move on to doing other great stuff because he's really good and he's going to win a Golden Globe or win an Emmy or whatever because his character is really really good. I have to say that this final episode has a great screenplay. It's really really a great screenplay. I don't know about the directing, I think it, it was good at most of the time, so some of the times it's kind of flawed, it's kind of slow, it's kind of like difficult to understand if you will, but I'm, uh, it was interesting nevertheless. Uh, sorry for the lights really, it's really dark. Um, what else? Um, maybe if I do this, that kind of brings it up. No, that doesn't make anything, sorry. Uh, so yeah, uh, Maeve did all the, that she wanted with her revolution, if you will, but that didn't really amount to anything at the end because she just turned back again, so um, she returned. So that's really doesn't make any sense. And the fact that they showed the last, like a post credit scene with the blonde woman with the snake, uh, uh, you know, r chopping her arm off with a knife and just killing a bunch of guys, that was really amazing because I think that doesn't that doesn't mean anything for the series but it was really funny to see her do that and of course she's not dead which is something that we 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 hope we will look forward to for the next season and i, I think rodrigo santoro's character is not dead either i mean they didn't really show him but i, I think he's alive too he wasn't disconnected or anything and even if they were i think they can be revived like super easily so whatever I think it's Dolores that will going that will be going like thinking she will be taking control of Westworld and I one thing uh, um, proper I actually thought it was really interesting when Maeve and the others were escaping that they did show like a glimpse of the other worlds that exist uh, besides Westworld I don't know that maybe they were like trying out something maybe that world doesn't really exist yet but seeing all the samurais was really amazing and the fact that maybe some people are paying to travel to ancient China to you know uh, go against samurai that's amazing that that's really great that's why i think it, the, the series should ha shouldn't have been named westworld or maybe should be heading like in a broader dimension i think in the original movies you, you had like um big uh, amount of op like four options i think of worlds you can go into and i think one was the samurais the other was the western world and there were some other ones like in space or something and i think that would be really interesting for the future of westworld like like all these people in westworld to take over the other worlds that would be amazing or, or just to um go crazy make the the crazy uh, happen all over the place so that would be really interesting uh what else am i missing um, the Men in Black was William, which was not... I mean, that was a really amazing reveal, and I didn't saw it coming because, you know, you always saw William with Dolores, but you never realized that some of those uh, scenes may have been uh, memories, some dreams, and some, some of them were just, you know, like delusions that she had. So that was really <laughs> insane, but really cool i mean i mean the fact that that stupid idiot just transformed himself into a monster and that that monster was the practically practically the owner of the man of the westworld that was just amazing i mean he's not owner anymore because i think he was killed too in the massacre so i mean they really took over everything so yeah that's really interesting for next season and yeah i mean uh, of course, um, many people won't be coming back. Uh, I don't. And the Hemsworth brother, I think he went on a vacation or something because he didn't show up in this episode. Well, I, I was hoping him to to show up somewhere, but he didn't. So that's really weird. I think that was a flaw of the episode, actually. I mean, 
weird and yeah I, I, I'm looking forward to the next season and see what happens the, the ending was really Game of Thrones and that's really great because Game of Thrones really knows how to make an ending see the season the last season ending and that's really great I mean that first sequence just art I mean that's as simple as it gets so yeah I don't know what else should I say about about Westworld, I think that said, I think it was a great series, a great first season for this series. At the fir at, at the start, it was really slow. It wasn't really explaining itself. It didn't really make sense. But now that you see the whole series, the ten episodes, you really start to understand. Like, oh, I get it now. That's what you wanted to say. And there's a lot more to be resolved. And I mean, what are going to, what what are people going to do when they find out that? Westworld is run now by androids and they, that they will kill anyone that enters. I mean, and there must have been people in there when the massacre happened, so what the fuck, you know, what's going to happen? So that's really, really interesting. So yeah, let's see uh, what happens next year with Westworld. I will do reviews of that if I'm still uh, around here in, on YouTube. And yeah, I hope many more series come this uh, next year so yeah let's see what HBO brings to us next year thank you so much for uh, watching this review and you may have uh, you may see many others uh, in my channel in English and of course uh, video random videos in Spanish thank you so much goodbye